Editing the appearance of your GrooveCart store is done by using the Builder. You can find this in the left side menu or, if you've just created your store, via a shortcut on the admin dashboard. First, at any time while editing your store's appearance, you can use the buttons at the top to preview how the page looks on a variety of devices. However, the main tools are found in the left-hand menu. There are four options, but we'll take a look at Pages first. This is a list of all of your store's pages. You can click one to view and edit it, or use the pink plus button to add a new one. The navigation section shows what links are available in the top menu bar of your store. You can click the pink plus button to add a new link. Click the three dots to edit it, and use the drop down menu to choose where that link leads. Pop ups can also be added in this area. Click the pink plus button to add one. There are a few options here, but primarily you'll want to ensure you title it and choose a target from the drop down menu, which is when the pop up appears and where. If you choose on page entry or exit, you will then choose what pages it should appear on. Click the pink check mark to save it. To edit the appearance of your pop up, you'll click the title. Let's take a look at the themes. My themes are for themes you have previously used and saved. This allows for you to quickly switch your store's appearance without the need for editing every page, in the event of things like holidays and sales. Clicking Basic will reveal a number of templates available for you to use and edit. When choosing a template, you are given the option to save the one you are leaving behind. If you want to save it, choose a category and a name for your previous template, and click Save. Next are the settings. There are three settings available, Page, SEO, and Templates. Page settings are specific to the page you are currently viewing. SEO settings are for preview text for search engines, tracking codes you might want to embed, and preview content for social media sites. Templates are individual page templates. Rather than importing a theme for your entire store, you can use a template to change a single page. Specifically, this will change the page you are currently viewing. To add new elements to the pages themselves, you will use the top Add New button. There are two items here, blocks and elements. Elements are individual items on your page, such as a headline or an image. Blocks are collections of elements together. You can find pre-built global blocks to drag into your page, or you can save blocks that you've made using elements. For example, I can drag in a headline to an existing block and then click the star icon to save that block. Once the block is saved, it will be found under My Blocks, so it can be added anywhere on the store. Now, however, there are two headers on this page. I'm going to use the arrow in the upper right to undo that change. To edit elements that are already on the page, simply click one and choose the Settings Gear icon. Each element will have unique settings available depending on what it is. You might have the option to add images to slides, rearrange products, or choose where a button links. Whatever changes you decide to make on your page, it is crucial to remember to click Save in the upper right when you're done.